What is up? On today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some actionable tips to make sure that you're an awesome guest on other people's podcasts. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just wanna explain why it's important to be a guest on people's podcast. You're speaking to a warm market. These are people that are in your niche that are interested in the value that you can give. And quite frankly, most people that are listening to podcasts are either well-educated or they're in a medium to upper end income bracket. These are people that are hungry for information. They're hungry for the value that you could provide. So getting on the right podcast and delivering the right message is an incredibly, incredibly powerful way to grow your business. So let's talk about how you can have a lasting impression, how you can get the most value out of each podcast visit. So first off, you wanna make sure that you have a great origin story. You don't want to ramble on and give a 10 minute explanation of what your story is. You want to be able to explain your story and to create an emotional connection with the listener within the first 60 seconds. And again, this is really important. Your origin story needs to really resonate with that person within the first 60 seconds. Get their attention. Let them know their pain points, your pain points, your victories, your struggles. If you can do all that within a 60 second window, you are golden. You're going to be an awesome guest. Now, number two, in order to deliver that value, in order to deliver those statements in your story, you need to know who you're actually speaking to. Are these realtors? Are these insurance agents? Are these podcasters? Who are you actually speaking to? And you can find this out by going to the host website. Maybe you listen to a couple of their episodes. Get a feel for what their value proposition is. Heck, you might even ask them before the episode starts. Who are we speaking to? Who's the demographic? And you wanna make sure that you cater your messaging to that demographic. Third, know your value proposition. You should always go into every episode, every guest experience with a specific goal in mind. Do you want people to go to your website? Do you want people to listen to your podcast? Do you want people to buy a product? You need to go into the episode knowing exactly the result that you want. If you're just going in to say, hey, I just want to talk about something, you're not going to get the maximum value and your time is valuable. So make sure that you go into that episode with an actual value proposition. What is the action that you want the listener to take? This is absolutely crucial. Hey, by the way, if you're getting any value and you want more tips, tools, and tactics on how you can stand out online, click that subscribe button. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to bring you the hottest, freshest tips, tools, and tactics to grow your business. So we've talked about having a good origin story, about knowing the audience, and about delivering your value proposition. Well, what else can you do? For God's sakes, stop the rambling. Oh my gosh, this is such a pet peeve of mine as a host. You bring someone on and they just ramble on for seven or eight minutes. Let me tell you something. That is boring. That is not interesting. If you're gonna be a guest on someone's show, you wanna keep your answers, I would say, to about... 30 seconds to three minutes. If your answer goes longer than three minutes, you're going to lose people. A, a podcast, an optimal podcast, the best listening experience is going to be a conversational type of podcast. People are going to be more interested in listening to that. Um, so avoid rambling on for too long. It just doesn't create a great listening experience. I would encourage you to engage the host. Ask them questions. Get a little bit of back and forth. This is a great way to keep the listener engaged. So make sure that you're not rambling and you're keeping that engagement with the host throughout the course of the episode. My fifth tip is to make sure that you have a decent mic. You can get a great mic like this, a great setup like this for under 150 bucks. But if you're relying on your laptop and your webcam or your cell phone, the audio quality is not going to be great. I actually had a chance to interview John Lee Dumas and I'll have a link here. And one of the great pieces of advice that he gave me was being a well-educated guest. If you sound bad, you look bad, and you're not gonna stand out. It's really important that you go in with a decent sound. And again, if you're interested in being a guest on podcasts, if you understand that value, you're probably gonna be a guest pretty frequently. So investing a couple hundred bucks in a good mic setup is gonna be absolutely well worth your time and your money. I'll have some links below with gear that I recommend and I use, and it'll really get you set up on the right path. My sixth piece of advice so that you can get the most value out of your podcast guesting experience is a call to action, right? And so we already talked about a bunch of different ways that this kind of incorporates, but you don't want to just leave your call to action at the very end of the show. You want to plug your call to action at minimum three times during the episode. And you know, you don't want to be spammy about this, but you want to make sure that you're clear on your call to action going in and you have your call to action in the beginning, the middle, and the end, okay? And you want to incorporate, you want to weave your call to action in in a compelling way. 
you don't just want to sound like an advertisement. But let's say, for example, you really want people to visit your website so that they can grow their podcast, for example. Maybe in the beginning, you say, yeah, I, I was really drawn to podcasting because I was able to really help people grow their podcast. And I actually have free guides on my website at marksavantmedia.com, which I do, by the way. I've got some free guides for you at marksavantmedia.com to help you grow your podcast. But including this call to action, being clear on the call to action, beginning, middle, and end, because not everyone's going to make it all the way to the end, right? Some people might just listen halfway through. Make sure that you leave that call to action, beginning, middle, and end. Hey, thanks for listening. I hope you got some great takeaways so that you can be an amazing guest on your next experience. I know you're going to be. If you can employ and apply these concepts, you're going to be able to deliver value. You're going to be delivering it to the right people. And I know you're going to have an awesome experience. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button and leave a comment below. What else can you do? What have you found to be a great way to deliver value on podcasts? I want to know. So let me know. And before you go, check out these videos here. I've specifically selected these for you so that you can have a great experience, reach more people, and just grow in 2020 and beyond. So click these buttons. I'll catch you next time here on Mark Swamp Media. Peace.